In this lecture, I'm going to look at the process of induction. Now suppose I have a conductor that has the same number of electrons as protons. Now what that means is my charge of my conductor will be zero. And that's because if I add up the charges due to protons and the charges due to electrons, they will completely balance and cancel out. So I will get a conductor with a neutral or zero charge. So suppose I have two such conductors, conductor one and two, and they each have three protons and three electrons. And suppose an infinite distance far away, d equals infinity, I have a negatively charged object. Now, according to Coulomb's law, these guys will exert zero force, or these charges will exert zero force on these charges. And that's because we're making the assumption that our distance between them is infinity. And that's because according to Coulomb's law, if our distance is infinity, then our denominator is very large, and so our force goes to zero. Now, <coughs> now suppose I begin moving this guy all the way to number two. To <coughs> next to conductor number two. And suppose I move it a some distance d away. And now my distance is small enough. Now it's tangible, it's no longer infinity. And now these charges will affect these charges. In other words, the negatively charged species in this object will attract the positive, the positive species in this conductor. And so these guys will migrate to this side and the electrons will migrate to the other side because electrons repel and electrons and protons attract. So, this will orient itself in such a way and this orientation will cause this guy, this guy to orient himself as well. So, these electrons will affect these protons and pull them to this side. And these electrons will at the same time repel these electrons, causing them to migrate to that side. So this is how they're going to orient themselves. Now suppose I really quickly take these two guys and make them touch, and then separate them. What will happen? Well, as soon as I touch them, these electrons will be able to physically move to this side. And in fact, they will move to this side. So two of these electrons, and I approximated, two of these guys will jump to this guy. And as soon as I separate them, what will happen is that now this guy has a positive charge, a net positive charge, because now the number of protons is more than the number of electrons, while this guy will gain a negative charge, or gain negative charges. And this guy will become negative because he will have more electrons than protons. And nothing will happen to this guy because this guy was not in contact with any of these guys. So the, the amount of charge in our negatively charged object will remain the same. Now, the process of charging a conductor by allowing electrons to flow into a neutral conductor is called induction. So this was induction. These guys were both induced. The last thing I want to mention is the following. When we take our neutral conductor and we induce it and it becomes a negative conductor, the extra negative charge builds up on the surface, on the edges of our conductor. And that's because the extra negative charge will repel. Remember, negative and negative repel according to Coulomb's law. And that means the most optimum distance between any two charges will be achieved when they're at the surface of our conductor, like this picture shown here. 